Hi, uh, I'm back with another beekeeping video. Um, by myself today, Mark's at work, and the bees need more food. So I'm gonna do a little video today about feeding. I've not done this by myself before. I usually have Mark to help me, or last week I had my son Aiden, who's 12. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, we're just going to switch out the feeder and put in a new one. Uh, there probably is going to be some bees on there. We'll try to smoke those out so they're not um, smashed or anything. The reason we feed the bees, especially during the first year, is because they don't have enough in reserves. And they're doing a lot of extra work that they wouldn't be doing if they're strong, thriving hive with plenty of worker bees. Uh, they're building new comb, they're, having, they're making lots of babies, and so they need a lot of food and they don't have the stores for it yet. So we feed them. We just have a mason jar that's filled with um, a simple syrup, which is just two parts sugar to one part water. And we've poked some holes in the top and I'll show, we'll turn it upside down and then it'll create a suction when it's turned upside down and uh, it won't leak out but they'll be able to stick their little tongues in there and get some food. So we'll get this started. All right, I'm just gonna remove the lid here and see this other, I don't know if you can see down inside of there. I've tried to position the tripod to where you can see down in here, but the other jar is completely empty, which means they're probably hungry right now. They have been, it is a very nice weather here for bees. Bees like it when it's warmer. It's 80 degrees here, and let me tell you, in this bee suit, it feels like 110. Anyway, uh, that's beside the point, but they like it warm. That's when they do their best work. So they, and they are getting lots and lots of pollen. We've been watching them buzz in and out, and they've been doing very well about getting the pollen. So I'm just gonna remove this jar, but I'm gonna have the smoker ready to kind of smoke the bees down inside of there just so I don't squish them. You don't want to smoke them too much, but you also don't want them to get smashed or be in the way. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Come on, bees. They don't really like the smoke, but it calms them down. And then now that they're out of the way of the opening, I'm going to take this jar over here and turn it upside down over here so it doesn't attract predators. And see, when you turn it upside down, it'll leak a couple drops, but then it creates a suction. And I'll just put this right here, and then we're good to go. Then the bees can stick their little tongues inside those little holes and they can get some food to eat. And I know that one wasn't excite, as exciting as looking in the hive because that's what I really want to do. The biggest, one of the biggest mistakes that new beekeepers make is looking in the hive too much. We don't want to disrupt them while they're busy working. It's like that annoying coworker that comes up and interrupts you all day long and then you can't get half as much stuff done when they're interrupting you. Anyway, um, I'll put the top back on And we'll put the straps back on in a minute and we'll be good to go. The reason we always put, we strap these down is for strong winds or anything like that to protect the hive from toppling over. That would be terrible. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys later. Have a good day.